Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and welcome back to City Skylines. We're gonna be continuing what we did last time, which was make a really terrible city. And our goal is to make a bad city. I don't know what else to say about it. We're just gonna play the game, do everything terribly, and we're just gonna see how things go. So at the moment, we're gonna try to reach more milestones and try to earn more money, ideally more than just 6,000, so we can expand our city and expand its terrible influence. If you don't remember, this is my city called Hell City. We're currently at a population of about 1100, and our next milestone is going to be once we hit uh, 1300. So not too far off there, we just need more people to move in. There is a high demand, or a medium demand for commercial zones, so I'll add more of those. We're probably gonna have to expand our city. Uh, what kind of shape should we make now? You know, I'm tired of making silly shapes. I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do last time. I'm just gonna make a grid. Just a basic grid so we can add more stuff. <gasps> Congratulations! We've reached a population of 1300. Now we have policies, canals. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. We can add parks to our neighborhood, a basketball court, just like enrichment stuff, basically. That's good because my citizens are really bored. They have nothing to do. Oh, and I have more money now. Okay, let's give them- let's give them a bounce house. I'm gonna put it all the way here, like in the middle of this spiral. It seems that the only people that this affected are the people living in the spiral. Alright, fine you weebs, I'll give you a Japanese garden. Here, I'll put it over here in the grid. Oh, I can buy new land. I didn't even notice that. Uh, I'm gonna buy the one that's right next to the highway, so we can expand our city there. Yeah. City limits are now officially expanded. Also, I take back what I did last time, where I made all these districts. I'm gonna delete all these. I'm just gonna make this entire area like, I don't know, the music district or something. I can set policies now for the district. Oh, what's gonna make my citizens really mad? We're gonna have a pet ban and a smoking ban. Sorry. I can build canals now. What does that entail? I don't... Do I really want to do this right now? How does this even work? I've actually never done this before in City Skylines. So... This is all brand new for me. So what does that do? I don't think I did this right. Can I, like, delete it? Whoa! I didn't even- what? Dude, it's going towards my city. Oh, my citizens are mad because of the flooding. I'm sorry. Building is flooding. Yeah, I can't like- I can't do anything about it though, so just deal with it. Okay, while these guys are having an ordeal, I'm gonna... I don't know. Expand my city, maybe? It looks like they're starting to become a demand for industrial zones. We'll put some- you know what? I'm starting to play this game a little too carefully now. Let's let's be reckless again and put industrial zones right next to where people live. I'm sure they'll love that. I guess one of the reasons I'm being too careful right now is because I don't want to overspend. I, I realize I can use money cheats, but you should know by now from my Sims videos, I don't really like to use cheats, even if it is to make gameplay a much more fun. I'd rather play it the way the game intends you to play it, while bending some of the rules a little bit. Like doing this. Now there's a residential demand. Are you guys serious? Alright, I'll just slap one of these here. And hopefully people will move in next to this weird factory zone. Not enough educated workers. Well, I'm sorry, alright? We only have an elementary school right now. My citizens have not been educated beyond fifth grade. Here, I'll add another elementary school right next to the industrial zones. Now I'm down to 5,000. See what y'all did? I could take these loans though. Yeah, I'll take both of them. I'll have to pay them back at some point, but we're not worrying about that right now, are we? New building. I have a new building. Oh, I do have a high school. I was just like complaining about that earlier. I'm sorry. Uh, well, we can afford it now because of the loans I took. So, where should we put it? I don't know, let's just destroy some of these guys' houses. Let's put it there. We're not thinking about these things, okay? We're just trying to make a city that works. It just works. So I'm just gonna- I don't even know what I'm gonna do anymore, like... Some kind of zigzag, I guess? 
There, more houses. Oh my god, there's no demand for any of the others, just houses. People really want to live here for some reason. There, are y'all happy now? Jesus. I have another new building. What is it? A public library. It costs 22000 Look, do I care about the education of my citizens? Yes. But I care a little bit more about my wallet. So we'll do that another time. You know, I'm gonna disable the no dogs policy. I think that was kind of stupid. Also, I'm pretty sure it'll cost more. Uh, these guys are- citizens are sick. That's not my pro- <laughs> you know why it's because- oh my god. It's because the industrial zone is here. They're breathing in all that nasty, sweet pollution. This is a bad city. Why do people want to move here? Like, we're still getting people moving in. What's the next milestone, in fact? We're almost there. It's to reach a population of, uh, 2400. We're literally, like, eight people away. There, okay. Now we can unlock, uh, new policies. New roads, nice. We can make highways now. A toll booth. We can get a cemetery now. Hey, that's perfect for all of our sick citizens. I mean, let's face it, they're not gonna live very long. <laughs> considering how I designed this area. So we might as well get a cemetery for them. There. Cemetery, we can put it right there. It's right there waiting for you. You know? Okay, the game really wants me to build a library. I don't know why it's really expensive and the upkeep is a lot. And I mean, like, it's not like my citizens need it, necessarily. <sighs> but, fine. If it'll get the game to shut up, then I'll build a public library. I'll put it right here. I just destroyed five people's houses. You, you happy? Okay, that's why we needed a library, because we still have two- Our, My citizens are too stupid. They can't work at these places, like pharmacy, pharmacy. Organic foods and or what? Why is there? These are exactly the same name. Like this building, straight up abandoned. Drugstore 2.0. Gotta get rid of it now. My citizens are too stupid. Maybe that library was a good idea. Okay. What do you guys need? Citizens are very sick. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's what you get for moving in here. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about that. Sheesh, okay, calm down, you guys. Here, I got a better idea. Now, this is no longer part of the music district. You guys are your own plague of a district. We can include the, the right boob over here, too. This is a brand new district. And I'm doing this specifically so my citizens stop getting sick. I can change the district type, or the industry type, I should say. And instead of being a generic industry that produces all this pollution and nasty air, we're gonna go a little more natural and become a farming industry. And slowly over time, these factories will be transforming into nice little farmlands. More houses! They want more houses! I- Oh my god. There. Okay. More houses for you guys. Coming right up. I don't want it to come across like this is how I play the game normally. I do have save files where I play the game the way that it's meant to be played, I suppose you could say. Uh, we need more sewage? Okay. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> oh my god, that costed like thousands of dollars already. Whatever. And yes, I realize I'm bringing all the nasty sewage water over here. And that's perfectly fine with me. I know what I'm doing, okay? There. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, uh, we can get rid of this now. Hold on, this was just supposed to be here temporarily. Thank you for the source of water. We're fine now. And then once this fills up, this could be like a nice little recreational area. <gasps> I didn't think about the repercussions of my actions. Oh no, it's- Oh my god, it's hitting the cemeteries. Okay. Building is flooding. I can't do anything about it. We're just gonna have to wait for the water to evaporate. I can add road, road tolls now. Rolled tolls. Okay. Well, where can I put it? Here? Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another industrial zone here based on whatever kind of natural resources we have. And the amount of natural resources we have in this area is essentially none. Great. 
I'll, I'm gonna move it over here instead. Yeah, just get rid of it. That was a waste of money. Okay, so what I've essentially done is made another farming district here. We're gonna see how it works. Oh, you guys- you guys need water and electricity? Damn. I mean, I guess there's people working on the- <laughs> on the toll booths. Okay, I added more electricity and more of essentially everything and now I'm back down to 2,000. But at least I got to expand my city. Um, I'm probably gonna end it here pretty soon. I just want to see how my new farming district is doing once everything is all done building and upgrading, etc. And I think that's it for today. I'm very concerned about my little weird poopy lake here. It's filling up a lot faster than I had intended for it to, so I might need to expand that, but I definitely don't have the funds for that right now. But yeah, that's a cliffhanger I can leave it on, I suppose. It doesn't look like my farming industry is expanding anytime soon, so... Well, that's it for this video. I'm gonna leave it here. I made a lot of progress today. I expanded my city quite a bit. It looks even worse than I could ever imagine. I'm playing a little carefully still at the moment. I'm, I don't really want to wreck the entire city yet because I'm trying to get as much money as I can before I can start doing some really severe things to my citizens. I think any professional city planner would agree that this city is just atrocious looking. But you know, I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys are happy with it too. I'm still gonna continue this series. It's a lot of fun to do, it just takes away from the stress of having to make an actual, legit city. While still managing to play the game relatively correctly, I'm doing everything right, like I'm hitting the milestones and everything. It's just horrendously ugly. But look, people love my city. The global happiness is green, which I'm assuming means good. And people are still moving in, which is surprising. So yeah, expect more videos like this. It's a lot of fun. I hope you guys find it really fun too. I'm gonna head out now, so I'll see you guys in the next video.